Well, welcome back, students. Uh, uh, now let us uh, have a small glance on what is known as uh, sensible heat and latent heat. Sensible heat and latent heat. Okay. Now listen. If I show you graphically, sensible heat means if I'm having a body of 20 degrees Celsius. Now, if I'm supplying heat, the temperature of this body is rising, say 22 degrees Celsius. So that means this heat which has helped the body to increase the temperature of this body from 20 to 22 degrees Celsius is known as sensible heat. In this case, I can say heat is a continuous function of temperature. That means this is my heat, this is my temperature. If I am supplying heat, it is increasing and there is a linear relation between them. But if I talk of latent heat, now what is this latent heat? This is say ice. Now the melting point of ice is 0 degree Celsius. But the current temperature is minus 2 degree Celsius. So when I am supplying heat, what is happening? The temperature of this ice will increase, say from minus 2 to minus 1 degree Celsius and then to 0 degree Celsius. But still if I keep on increasing heat, the temperature of this ice will not rise unlike this body. Okay, what will happen? Now ice will start changing its phase from solid to liquid. It will start changing its phase from solid to liquid. That means after 0 degree Celsius the ice has attained, the temperature that which I am providing to this particular body is actually helping to change its state or phase from one form to another and that heat is called latent heat. So I can write down latent heat as amount of heat required by a body to raise its sorry required by a body to change its phase from one form to another form okay from one form to another form okay so that is nothing but known as latent heat another uh, specific uh, or important term is what is known as specific heat specific heat so this is a body okay its mass is one unit maybe kg or gram whatever it is temperature is say 20 unit so 20 unit this can be your degree celsius degree fahrenheit or degree kelvin now how much heat i have to supply to this body of mass one unit to raise its temperature by one unit that means has to be raised to 21 unit that can be even degree celsius or degree fahrenheit or say degree riyamur or kelvin whatever okay so specific heat is the amount of heat required by a body of unit mass to raise its temperature by one unit okay i hope this three uh, uh, terms are clear to you what is sensible heat, latent heat and heat and specific heat. Thank you for that.